so we'll discuss dive form tool in this session so here we'll look into the dive form tooling different options how you can configure like the seed surface the bound plane and the placement and how you can use your external files for placement that also we'll look into so for understanding this we'll take a simple sheet with size 50 by 50 and you have the typical thickness 0.1 and again even you can go for 0.2 so directly from the form tool you can get here dive form and you can get reference and you can select your reference part whichever you need to define so this is the form tool which you have directly open this after opening this you will get the preview of this part so you need to place this I will select this as the reference which will be placed with respect to this as this is the round part I will set the constant for datum plane this datum with this datum and this datum with this datum and go for ok you can see the preview of placement directly here and you can go for ok and here you have to select the bounded plane this is the reference bounded plane and the seed surface is this and you can see the preview go for ok so this die form will be created over your sheet and in this way you can directly configure any existing die tool for using as a forming tool through your sheet next we we'll look into the transitional band which is very very important because in case of your transitional band over the typical areas you can restrict the bending and you can define a particular zone as your transition band zone in this particular band zone your band will not be performed so how to define the transitional band and peripheral controls I will show you we will close this particular session we will erase from the memory and from your exercise folder you can directly get your transition band option and this is the part which you have directly you can open the transition band part and when you go for the transition band what you have to do is this is the sheet which you have and we have selected the rule any particular degrees rule you can select 18 maybe and when you go to transition here I'll just remove the sketch this was the initial output which you have I need to restrict a particular area for my deformations that is the bending so I'll go to edit definition and I'll go to transition and I'll go to add transition and I'll go to sketch and I'll select this particular surface my transitional areas I'll be defining this will be my transition area 1 and this will be transition area 2 in between I don't require any bending so you can see when you select this particular area will be restricted for bending and you can see this is the best case for your transitional bend you can update this but here if you go for any curved profile let us say I am interested to have a curved profile instead of a straight line what is the message you are getting that also you should must understand so you are not able to assess any curved profile with respect to transitional band so you have to have a straight line as your transitional band reference always next we will look into the strip layout tool how you can create the strip layout from your blank that I will show because this is very very important from the manufacturing point of view I will not focus much about your manufacturing how to define the maximize maximum number of 
strips from your blank that I will show how to maximize the process that will be my primary focus so you can see the manufacturing sheet metal you can have a provision for creating the sheet metal blanks so let us understand this in brief so for understanding this I will open and I will show the part which I will be considering for manufacturing strip layout from your exercise folder you can get mfg underscore strip underscore layout so this is the part which already we have discussed before for creating the blank so I'll just hide this information this is the part which we are looking at so how to create the strip layout the maximum number of strips how we can extract from your blank that I will demonstrate I'll just close this I'll go to new manufacturing and sheet metal and give a name as per requirement and go for OK here you have to switch the unit to mm because your base unit is mm the part which I have shown you the thickness which we have is 0.25 for that part and this length I will select 1000 by 1000 and 0.25 and once you select this you can go to the automation once you go to automation here you can load your part file which I have shown from the manufacturing strip layout once you select it it will automatically load and here you have couple of options which I will show you in brief the order and done let us say I am ordering from thousand and thousand size hundred strips and I can see the preview it is only 91 is able to do it but most of the space we have not optimized and these are the different scraps you can see out of this so how to optimize this so out of this thousand by thousand only 91 I can expect but this is not correct so how to set this so workpiece size also you can see thousand by thousand and thickness 0.25 and border size you can give from this corner let us say 0.5 left 0 0.5 0 0.5 top and 0.5 your right you can see the preview and you can have this butter offset shown here from the other side I'll go to the default and here you can give the offset from this boundaries also I'm giving one from outer so outer not required here so inner I'll give one and you can see the preview here the allotted distance will be set outer also you can provide if you need this so this distance you can from the inner uh, from the outer you can control and you can see now 90 you can expect but if you optimize this you have a clustering and here as you saw one by one already have given so triple nine is the effective size which you have in the length and width and now if you go to the preview now you can see 100 you can expect but still you have lots of open space available so here you can go for more orders so 111 is possible here and this you can always check for the alternative numbers so 110 110 is possible so here you can expect another one and also you can control the overall orientation here if you go to this particular case here you can see the rotation angle and rotation angle you can see any and you can go to the step I can have 180 based on that you can see the different strip position 107 is possible here just like that you can have all the controls and you can only increase this 90 90 90 
so maybe a particular values you can set so the values would be 0 and 180 because even though this is equivalent of that you can go for 0 only and you can see this and finally will be done and you can go for the save then you will be entering into the manufacturing database for creating the machining operation so our agenda is not to go to manufacturing only to show you how you can create this and after that you can directly save this informations either in the form of IGS or DXF so whatever the format you like you can select this either in the IGS or any other format which you need to go for maybe drawing maybe you can go for the IGS or maybe DXF so just you save it and you can use this during your drawing creation and this particular methods you can directly use for rapidly saving your scrap so that you can optimize the overall process thank you